Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, on Thursday night, there's a Sun Belt Showdown with the Appalachian State Mountaineers traveling on the road at the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, App State's 5-3 and three and 2-2 two and two in the Sun Belt to start this season. Sean Clark, at head coach, has done a good job to continue to do what the previous head coaches at App State has done in the last decade and has continued to keep them as one of the top Sun Belt programs. And App State... This season has done really well, and they lost in week one, however, though, to UNC 63-61. to They could have won this game, but unfortunately for them, they fell just short in a high-powered, high-explosive game that they could not get a two-point conversion. But then they beat Texas A&M on the road, and they're probably their best win as a program since the Michigan win back in 2007, 17-14. This was a good win, obviously, because it's Texas A&M, and even though they're having a struggling season, it was still a good win to beat an SEC team in a slugfest like that. Then they beat Troy 32-28 to on a Hail Mary play that was insane. It bounced off a bunch of players, and it went to an App State's player's hands, and he got to the end zone. That was a really good win for App State to get that one. But then they lost to James Madison 32-28 to in a close one, and James Madison's a really good team this year. And then they beat the Citadel 49 to nothing. That was a good win. And then they lost at Texas State 36-24. Very tough loss. They're better than Texas State on paper. They just did not play well in this game. But then they bounced back and beat Georgia State 42-17. to And then they beat Robert Morris 42-3. to And Robert Morris is a really struggling FCS program, so good win for App State. And in that game, quarterback Chase Bryce, the former Clemson and Duke quarterback, had 185 yards and four touchdowns and interception. He's a solid quarterback. He does throw a lot of picks, but when he doesn't throw picks, he's a good quarterback. Running back Nate Noel at 88 yards and five receiving yards. And running back Cameron Peoples only had 70 yards and 12 receiving yards against Robert Morris. But when App State can get the ball to Peoples, he's a fantastic running back. And wide receiver Deshaun Davis, 57 yards and a touchdown. I think that App State's offense is pretty good. I think Chase Bryce has been really solid this season. Again, even his picks aren't as bad as it's been in the past. And I think that if they can get Cameron Peebles the ball more in the running game, I think App State's offense can really flourish. And on the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Tyler Bird at three tackles. Defensive back Nicholas Ross at a tackle and interception. Linebacker Jalen McLeod at two tackles for App State. And in some games, their defense has been awful. But in some games, their defense has been good. So I think App State's defense is capable. But they do play interesting defense from week to week. Some weeks they're really good. And some weeks they're not is good. And on the coast of Carolina side, they're 7 and 1 and 4 and 1 in the Sun Belt to start the season and Jamie Chadwell's done a fantastic job at Coastal Carolina, especially since they just joined the FBS in 2017 and they've been a fantastic Sun Belt program for most of that time. And this season's been no different. They beat Army in week 1 38 to 28 and that was a good win. Then they beat Gardner Webb 31 to 27 and that was a close win and Gardner Webb's not a great team, but Coastal Carolina found a way to win. Then they beat Buffalo 38 26, same thing. Buffalo is not a great team, but Coastal Carolina found a way to win, but they were struggling early on. But then they won at Georgia State 41 to 24. That was a pretty good win, especially on the road. Then they beat Georgia Southern 34 to 30 in another close game. But then they won at UL Monroe 28 to 21. They found a way to win again, but then they lost Old Dominion 49 to 21 at home. Their only loss of the season. And Old Dominion has beaten Virginia Tech and they beat Coastal Carolina. So Old Dominion is really good this season. But obviously, Coastal Carolina would have liked to have been more competitive in this game. And then they won at Marshall 24 to 13, and that was a good win because Marshall obviously has beaten Notre Dame. And in that game, quarterback Grayson McCall at 121 yards and a touchdown and 12 rushing yards and a touchdown. He's a really solid quarterback like Chase Price at App State. He's been there for a long time at Coastal Carolina. Really good quarterback. Has a chance to be in the NFL. I think Chase Price at App State does as well. But both quarterbacks are really solid. But Grayson McCall has been great for Coastal Carolina throughout his whole career. His numbers have taken a step back without tight end Isaac Likely in the lineup. He was now in the NFL. Isaac Likely was a great tight end. I think Coastal Carolina's offense is not as good without him. But Grayson McCall call still having a great season running back Reese White at 43 yards against Marshall and a quarterback Bryce Carpenter the backup quarterback at 38 rushing yards and a touchdown he does a lot of the dirty work on the ground for Coastal Carolina tight end Jacob Jenkins at 39 yards and a touchdown he's tasked with trying to replace Isaac Likely but he has done a pretty good job and wide receiver Jared Brown at 57 yards for Coastal Carolina against Marshall and like I said I think Coastal Carolina's offense is pretty good it's not as good as it was last year when Isaac Likely was there at tight end and they had some other players but Coastal Carolina Carolina's offense is still really good. And on the defensive side of the ball, safety Joshua Madison to five tackles and quarterback Lance Boykin to four tackles for Coastal Carolina. And Coastal Carolina's defense has done enough, just enough to win games. They have had a couple of games where they were not really good, but they are capable on defense. But again, they've found a way to win most of their games. 
So who do I think is going to win this game? This game is at Coastal Carolina, and right there, that already helps them out because both these teams are about the same on paper. They're both very solid teams. They're very good teams in the Sun Belt. And when you have the home field advantage, that really matters. I think Coastal Carolina with Jamie Chadwell, though, has had a lot of games this season where they could have lost, and they are not as good of a team as they were last year. They're still a really solid team, but if you look at a lot of the results, they've escaped by a lot of teams that are not as good as they are, and that's never a good sign because you want to blow out those teams by more. So I think Coastal Carolina's 7-1 record could easily be skewed if they had a lost a couple of these close games, and they'd be a lot worse on uh, into public eye. But I still think they're a really good team. But Appalachian State's had a tougher schedule. Obviously, they've lost some games. But Sean Clark's team's still really solid on offense and defense. I think they can go on the road and win this game. Again, I think their offense and defense is really solid, and they have had a tough schedule. And they beat Texas A&M, which is way better of a win than anything Coastal Carolina's done. But they still also lost at Texas State, so Appalachian State has been up and down the season as well and even they haven't looked as good as they were at the beginning of the season when they played North Carolina Texas A&M Coastal Carolina's trajectory has seemed to be going up a little bit I'm going to go with Coastal Carolina to beat App State 28 to 24 again I think Appalachian State can win this game but I think Coastal Carolina throughout the season has been figuring out ways to win they're starting to play a little bit better I think Appalachian State played a bit better at the beginning of the season they're starting to trail down a little bit I think this game could go either way but I think with the home field advantage coupled with the fact that Coastal Carolina has been a little bit more consistent especially toward the end of the season in App State. I'm going to go with Coastal Carolina to be Appalachian State 28-24. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Appalachian State or Coastal Carolina is going to win this game and why. And I will see you next time.